Hello, in this Java tutorial, we are going to look at printing to the console. If you've already watched you know, one of these setup videos that I already did for Mac, Linux, Windows, or just running code in a online IDE, you would have you know already seen printing. I didn't quite explain it then, it was more just to make sure that the project was set up correctly. Also, another thing, even though I'm you know coding this and doing this video on a Mac, it doesn't matter. What you run the code is the same once you're set up it it'll be fine and that's the same with all of the code in this series okay so i'll get rid of this and print into the console is really useful especially when you're debugging you're testing stuff in a real world application you probably won't do it unless you're creating some sort of console based application and then it's actually more for release than just for debugging. Other than that, it is just great for testing. So you do system dot out. So this is saying that you know you are accessing the output stream, or it says what here the standard output stream. So it allows you to print out data, and then there's like a few different options, and then there's print line or print ln, which prints. You know something like a string that you provide and then immediately terminate it and put a new line character in there you don't have to do it automatically there's a regular print and then there's you know you know there are a bunch of others as well and you can you know feel free to take a look at them therefore different sort of variables you don't have to you know worry about this if you let's say do a print and you pass in an integer we haven't covered variables or data types yet, but we're going to cover that in a separate video. But if you put a variable that's it, that's of an integer data type, it'll handle it automatically. It's got function overloaded, which again is something else we're going to cover. So yeah, the two main ones, print and print ln. Print ln is probably going to be the main one. So I'll put quotation marks and I say, I'll call this print line. And if I run this, as you can see there is a new line and so what i'm going to do is just duplicate this i'm going to say print line two print line three and if i run it, it they're all on separate lines but what i'm going to do is i'm going to set the middle one to just a regular print so just regular print run it as you can see the first one is on its own line and then at the end it puts a new line character the next one it prints it but it doesn't actually put that new line character so the next line starts from the end and not onto the next line so the new line is actually at the end not the start of the print line you can actually force that new line character by putting backslash n backslash n is you know the new line character so if i run it we get the same result. So that's it for printing. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. There'll be a link with this video to the GitHub page, which will have all of the source code from every video in this series. And as usual, thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome Java video.